Yeah, as you might expect, it is the topic of discussion here and no doubt will be for years to come in Lebanon. But as Scott pointed out, my task today was to just come here and listen, which I did at Clemmy's Barbershop on the north side. It's been a rough week. Everything that happened just really impacted the city in more ways than one. Those people see the news and they see all this stuff and they just, they just, they don't associate it with it happening to them and then when it does, you know, you're just shocked, so. I feel different. Um, I'm sure everybody feels different. I mean, <laughs> we've got a pretty quiet community. Um, have we had airplanes and helicopters fly overhead? Yeah, but usually it's not because something good happened and yeah but we've never i don't think we've ever had the school locked down and never had a school locked down people staying in because of it like like that it makes people wake up you know especially to the drug problems i mean people knew it was there but you know then this happens and it's obviously very drug related and then it hits you know people that you know and people that you're close to and it just shocks you and wakes you up to what's going on and that it can touch you. People here, they're, they're definitely uh, willing to get involved and, and participate and, and try to do what they can to, to show their respect and pay their respect to the officer and his family and, and do what they can to try to you know, give them some comfort and show them a little grace. Yeah, one thing you're hearing people talk about a lot here now is they know that the police officers here, whether they be at the sheriff or the police department, doesn't matter. They know they're what stands between them and what they see as an outlaw contingent in their community. More on that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Scott?